we can use RStudio to calculate probabilities for a uniform distribution. We can also use the software to draw the distribution and visualize how the area under the curve looks. In this example, we're talking about a large conference room at a university that can be reserved for no more than four hours at a time. Meetings occur often and are of varying lengths. So it is assumed that the length of a meeting is a random variable x that has a uniform distribution from 0 to 4. That means our uniform distribution goes from 0 to 4. That means a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 4. So I've set up a some code here to where you can just simply input a, b, and a value of x and get then not only the distribution the way it looks, but also get the probability. So if we run this first part, we can either highlight it and press control R, or we can go up here and press run. We don't, nothing really happens but we're just setting up the problem. If we want to draw the uniform distribution, then we can run this section of code, which range gives us values for x, y gives us then the density of the uniform distribution at each little point of, of our range, and then plotting range versus y will then give us a line for the distribution. So let's go ahead and run this code. And sure enough, we will get a little plot here. Now, it doesn't look like anything right now because we need to add in the sides and the area under the curve. And so we know that uniform distribution looks like a little box. And so it goes from 0 to 4 with the height of 0.25. That's 1 minus 1 over b minus a. So sure enough, that's where the height of this box is. Then if we run this section here, this will give us the area to the left of x. So I have put in x as 1. So what this is going to find, it's going to find the area that is less than 1 or the probability that x is less than 1. So I'm going to run this line, and sure enough, I get that shaded in. I have it coming up as blue. You can change this color if you like. Now I'm going to add in the area to the right of x, so the right of 1, and I just have that as a gray color. So this is the area below 1, and this is the area above 1. And sure enough, you can kind of already see um, the uniform distribution is simple enough that you can see that that's about 25% of the data. But if we want to do this more systematically, then we can run this line of code, the p unif. So um, this is then the cumulative probability distribution function for the uniform distribution. And so x is 1, a is 0, and b is equal to 4. This is something that we defined up here. You could also just plug in 1, 0, and 4 as well if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and run that line. And sure enough, we get the area that falls below 1 in a uniform distribution from 0 to 4 is 0.25. Now, if we want to just check to see what the area is up here, we already know it's going to be 0 0.75, but we can run that line of code. And sure enough, we get the same thing. So the area above 1 will always be the complement of the area below 1. Now, let's suppose we want to calculate a percentile. What we can do is we can then run this line of code where it's Q uniform. So this is quantile and we can put in the percentile here. So 0 0.20, our lower bound for A, which is zero, our upper bound for B, which is four, and just run this line. So if we wanted to ask the question, what is the value that cuts off the 20th percentile? or 20% of meetings will be less than what value, our answer will be 0.8. So that's 0.8 hours. So if you would want to convert that to minutes, then you're more than welcome to. So it makes a little bit more sense. We can actually do that in R if we want to. We can just do 0 0.8 times 60 run this line, and sure enough, that means that 20% of meetings will be less than 48 minutes long. All right, so that is how we can use R Studio to, to look at the uniform distribution.